to help you purchase your next new Honda. Right now at El Grove Honda, new Hondas are arriving on a regular basis, including the newly designed CRV, new design Accords, exciting Civics, and much more. And El Grove Honda's pre-owned inventory offers choices there as well. So give El Grove Honda a chance to show you the new or pre-owned Honda you're looking for. We are El Grove Honda in the El Grove Auto Mall, Highway 99 at El Grove Boulevard, or visit us at elkgrovehonda.com. I gotta get an El Grove Honda Honda. This is the sound of a little girl who almost lost everything. A girl born with failing organs, but a fighting spirit. A girl who found her passion as a dancer when she found her answer in a doctor. When Lily was born with a rare genetic condition, UC Davis Health's comprehensive children's hospital turned it around so she could be the competitive dancer she is today. Choose the care that changes your story. Choose UC Davis Health. Visit choosehealth.ucdavis.edu to learn more. The Sacramento Kings are going to the playoffs. It's been a historic season of Kings basketball with two all-stars breaking records, lighting the beam, and now playoff basketball is coming to Golden One Center. Sign up now to get free sale access to single game playoff tickets at kings.com slash playoffs. Don't miss your chance to experience the Kings in the playoffs and feel the roar at Golden One Center. Visit kings.com slash playoffs now. We hear you. Light the Kings. Pray.com's Meditative Prayers podcast is the best way to bring God's perfect peace into your night. Each meditative prayer helps you focus on God, fight anxiety, sleep better, and more. As you close your eyes, ask God to come and have fellowship with you. Open yourself to the Holy Spirit and ask Him to minister to you. Listen to Meditative Prayers on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Going deeper with in-depth and perspective. KFBK Morning News with Christina Mendoza and Sam Shane continues on KFBK News Radio. They were amassing enough armaments to outfit a small army. The ultimate goal was... That is a clip from a documentary that aired on Netflix. It's called The Waco American Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. Uh, the reason we're playing that is because Netflix reporting is going to be making fewer movies and they're cutting ties with a couple of longtime executives because uh, Bloomberg reports that Netflix is restructuring, now combining small and mid-sized film units and leading to some layoffs, oh, yeah. including these top uh, executives. Boy, they've so. been spending so much money on programming and they still need it to compete, but uh, yeah, it's pricey. The streaming industry has profoundly changed in the last... Uh, 36 months, don't yeah. you think? And we'll change again. Uh huh. Yeah. 740 is the time. Let's get outside and see some traffic before we This is support sponsored by Jackson Hewitt. Taking a look at the Cap City Freeway going northbound. So far, traffic not heavy, but starting to crowd up just a little bit right now. Uh, starting at uh, H Street up towards the American River. Once you get past that, no delays making your way up towards the Cap City Freeway splits. Also, uh, eastbound 50 looks like that's starting to bunch up a little bit as well. Starting just near uh, 15th Street, but it eases up before you get to Highway 99. And also as a reminder, if you're coming in from West Sacramento on uh, eastbound 50, remember there's that new lane split right now. So if you want to exit on 15th Street and also southbound 99, you're going to have to stay in those right lanes. If you stay in the left lane, there's no way of getting over to uh, 15th Street or the southbound 99 exit. So once again, stay in those right lanes if you need to exit on 15th and 99. Taxes are almost due. Hurry into Jackson Hewitt for 50% off tax prep. Do it before April 9th. Limited time offer for new clients filing at participating locations. Tax savings $200. Visit jacksonhewitt.com slash 50 for terms. Traffic on the 10s every 10 minutes, mornings and afternoons. Roy Lamella, KPK News Radio, 93.1 FM, 1530 AM. Here's a look at your three-day forecast as we roll into the weekend today. Mostly sunny skies with a high near 61 degrees. Tomorrow, mostly sunny with a high near 63 degrees. And Sunday, mostly sunny with a high near 62 degrees. That's your three-day forecast. Okay, time now for news from your neighborhood. And what do we have? Well, some sweet treats are coming to Folsom from the Folsom Times. The Folsom community is buzzing with excitement about their city becoming home of the newest edition of Leatherby's Family Creamery. According to an update in photos shared from the Leatherby's family, the new location is progressing and they expect it to be open by mid-May, you know, just in time for those, uh, to cool off on those warm summer days with homemade ice cream. Yeah, hard to find an ice cream shop you don't like. Oh, the leather bees? Yeah. Mm. Top tier. Yeah. Place rocks. <laughs> I've never been, I've never been to any ice cream shop. You're gonna, bad. you're gonna have to go. Okay, okay. uh, Democratic New York Representative Dan Goldman said, uh, this indictment of former President Trump, he's a Democrat, no cause for celebration. 
Who said that? Uh, this is Dan. He's a representative from New York. Yeah, Dan yeah. Goldman. Okay. And and he's Democratic, and he said, look, uh, this is not cause for celebration. We don't know the evidence. Uh, yet there are these inflammatory accusations about partisanship and political basis for these charges from people who have no idea what the charges are. So as uh, I was building the show last night, uh, it was not hard for me to find audio clips from Republicans who are outraged. Uh, I will tell you that there wasn't much in the way of Democrats responding, and we spoke with John Decker, our White House correspondent right. and lawyer this morning, who said, and he's in Washington, D.C. this morning, says the very same thing. Democrats are really pretty quiet. Yeah, Democrats are, they're, they're, it taking a wait and see other than like you know the like nancy pelosi's and uh the adam shift yeah and that sort of thing that are usually out in front on things so yeah i mean i think i mean you have this um i don't know if it's so much republican and democrat as it is kind of insider and outside yes once again we're getting back to that discussion about the deep state slash establishment right versus so, those who aren't. And there are clearly people who are gleeful mm -hmm. about it. But again, mm -hmm. you know, this at least this one Democrat is saying, well, we need to wait for the charges. We'll get you caught up on the very latest on that big story with Rory O'Neill. He's going to be joining us live in about three minutes. Tomorrow, you can catch your KFBK Weekend Live. KFBK Outdoor Show. You will catch fish and maybe a big one. Tomorrow morning. Pop Sims KFBK. From 5 to 8. On KFBK News Radio, 93.1 FM, 1530 AM. It's Mark with Coastside Medical Clinic. Are you struggling with erectile dysfunction and sick of the pills? Well, we have a major medical advancement that has helped thousands of men. Our wave technology is backed by 60 clinical studies, including from Cambridge University. It's been shown to increase blood flow by repairing blood vessels. No pills and no side effects. If you're ready to put a stop to your ED, call us now. And not only will the assessment and blood flow ultrasound be free, but will also include something unique that produces powerful results in the bedroom. You're going to love that one, guys. Trust me. This unprecedented offer is worth $600, but it's free to those who call in the next two minutes. Call 916-603-2000. That's 916-603-2000. Guys, put a stop to your erectile dysfunction and get your life back. Call Coastside Medical Clinic now to qualify. 916-603-2000. Salt is for seasoning, not drinking. Water softeners add sodium to your water without filtering it. It's Kitty O'Neill. Here's something better than a softener. A life source salt-free water system. Softeners do not filter water and remove healthy minerals. Life source filters water from every tap and keeps healthy minerals. Without maintenance, salt are servicing. New customers can get a free at the pure antibacterial filter. A savings of $825 with qualifying purchase. Offer ends March 31st. So call 916-312-6430. LifeSourceWater.com. Miss the factory authorized clearance at Benteca Trailer and Motorhome. All 2022 RVs must show. Look for the blue bags with clearance pricing up to 40% off on America's favorite brands. Hurry, when the tags are gone, so are the savings. Get 40% off at the factory authorized clearance at Manteca Trailer and Motorhome, a Blue Compass RV company. Visit MantecaTrailer.com. Example 22 Braxton Green Free Solo number SI1026 MSRP 22222. See dealer for details. This week at Raley's in Bel Air, enjoy Raley's USDA Choice bone-in New York steaks for only $6.97 a pound when you buy large packs of three or more and get fresh broccoli crowns on sale for only $1.47 a pound. Only at your neighborhood Raley's in Bel Air. Are you retired or near retirement and worried about your money? Learn the truth about your investments so you can make the best decisions and worry less. Don't miss the Peak Financial Freedom Show with Jim and Dan, Saturdays 11 to 1 or 3 p.m. and Sundays at 12 noon and 4 p.m. here on KFPK. Hi, Fred Sam. Shane here for 72 Soul, a new way to sell your home faster, easier, and likely for more money, and it happens in just eight days. Studies show sellers who use 72 Soul get 8 to 12 percent more for their homes than similar homes sold in the market. If it sounds good to you, talk to the Sacramento director, Terry Cicchetti. Terry and her team meet personally with every buyer in every home they list. Terry pays all marketing costs, including professional pictures. Call Terry Cicchetti today. Dial pound 250. Say the keyword 72 Soul. That's pound 250. Keyword 72 Soul. You'll receive a mobile dial text message from KFBK with more information. Presented by Vita Chevy. Now trending on KFBK Morning News with Christina Mendoza and Sam Shea. Former FTX CEO Sam Bankman Freed is accused this morning of trying to bribe Chinese officials, adding to the list of crimes he is accused of. Prosecutors say that he directed $40 million to Chinese officials to unfreeze assets. The indictment of former President.
President Trump marks the first criminal case against a former U.S. president, and Trump has already weighed in, calling it political persecution and election interference at the highest levels in history. NBC News Radio National Correspondent Rory O'Neill joining us now with a look at the ongoing case. Uh, you are based in Florida. We know that is uh, certainly a hotbed of activity as uh, people gather at Mar-a-Lago and attorneys and so forth. And you have the governor coming out yesterday, Ron DeSantis, saying he would not extradite if they asked him to. Um, a lot going on, Rory. Yeah, a lot of moving parts. And uh, apparently this is all setting up for the former president to make his uh, court appearance on Tuesday of next week. We know that the Secret Service is meeting with the FBI today, NYPD, and the New York Court Police to try to coordinate this and make it as efficient as possible. Uh, it's doubtful that the president will actually be handcuffed uh, for some sort of a perp walk. That doesn't seem likely. The Secret Service may want to keep be able to stay mobile in case something happens and wouldn't want it to be restricted by cops like that. So, uh, as we would expect, Republicans are circling the wagons. And, and, but you know what's really kind of interesting, Rory, is that you have uh, candidates who are going to run against former President Trump for the Republican nomination, including your governor in Florida, who are rallying for him and coming to his defense. Yeah, really taking uh, aim at the prosecutor in this, calling this a political prosecution. You know, we talked yesterday about that poll that's out showing 62% of Americans. That would mean both Republicans and Democrats believe that this case in particular is a political prosecution. Now look, the other cases that uh, Mar-a-Lago was documented in, in Georgia with the election interference allegedly, uh, and whatever happened with the January 6th investigation in Washington, those are separate. But in this case, 62% think that New York DA is being political. So what is the atmosphere like around uh, Mar-a-Lago right now? I mean, do they have a large group of What's happening? Yeah, typically, I think for now, reporters outnumber the protesters or demonstrators. A lot of Trump supporters are out there with their Trump flag, also keeping an eye on the Trump plane. Uh, you know, the West Palm Beach Airport is just across the way from Mar-a-Lago. So uh, keeping an eye on this plane to see if he goes anywhere. But uh, he was at dinner last night with, uh, with meeting people at the Mar-a-Lago club after this news broke. So he appears to be just Thank you so much, Rory O'Neill, live for us in Florida, where there's a lot of action this morning on the indictment of former President Donald Trump. All right, time now to get outside and check traffic with Roy the Mellow. And this report's brought to you by Caltrans and CleanCA.com. Right now, things are looking pretty good. In terms of drive times, we're looking at westbound 80 from Roseville to the split still. Nine minutes making way through that stretch. Also nine minutes westbound Cap City Freeway from the split to downtown. Northbound five on the way up from Elk Grove, 13 minutes. Also running smoothly on northbound 99, looking pretty good from Elk Grove to downtown, 10 minutes. Smooth sailing on westbound 50. Usually we see some slow and go traffic around this hour, but it is Friday, so Friday late times for you. A 20-minute drive from Folsom to downtown on westbound 50. Southbound five on the way down from Woodland. Only take you 16 minutes and no delays right now coming in from Davis on eastbound. 80, 16 minutes into downtown Sacramento. Californians can agree that there is no place in their lives for litter. So let's come together and create a litter-free California. Join them at cleanca.com. Let's do it together. Brought to you by Caltrans. Traffic on the tens every 10 minutes, mornings and afternoons. Roy in the middle of KBK News Radio, 93.1 FM, 1530 AM. Definitely a cooler trend, but dry for the first 48 under partly cloudy to partly sunny skies. High is 61 to 65, 62 to 66 tomorrow back down 6165 Sunday with some showers. I'm AccuWeather's meteorologist Jeff Nordine on KFBK, Sacramento's news radio. Currently 24 degrees at Lake Tahoe, 44 degrees in Sacramento. Time now to get some money and business news. Let's get over to Kelly Brothers at Cap Trust and check in on this Friday, March 31st. Good morning. Christina, good morning to you as well. Tilton Fertitta is a billionaire owner of the Houston Rockets basketball team and it looks like he has now purchased the Hard Rock Lake Tahoe Hotel and Casino. Uh, he's going to uh, rebrand it to become a Golden Nugget Casino and Hotel. He has a few other uh, Golden Nugget locations that he owns down in the south of the country as well. Uh, but the Hard Rock went under underwent a $60 million renovation about seven or eight years ago. Uh, and it used to be the, 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 uh, what's it called? the, the Sahara Tahoe is what it was called. And it was where Elvis used to times in that hotel, and his suite is still available for hotel guests to book if you go up to the Hard Rock suit to be the Golden Nugget in South Lake Tahoe. Market overall today, higher. Wrapping up the month, wrapping up the quarter, the key inflation.
inflation gauge watched by the Fed was up in February, but less than expected. So that's a positive development for the market. And it looks like it will be positive for um, the S&P 500 and NASDAQ, certainly the Dow teetering on the flat line, but we'll see what happens later on today. Here are the real time numbers. Dow up 189, 33,048. NASDAQ up 91. The S&P up 22 points or one half of 1%. Gold down two. Oil is up nearly 1%. Ten-year bond yield, 3.5%. Kelly, thank you very much. Here's Kitty O'Neill. Christina and Sam Moore on the indictment of Donald Trump. And also we'll look at the last film from Bruce Willis in our movie review segment. All right, Kitty O'Neill. The program goes from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. It is Friday, March 31st. Time for What Year, What Happened? And what do we have? Well, in 1918, the U.S. began daylight saving time on Easter Sunday when clocks were set ahead by one hour. That's when that started. 1930, the Motion Picture Production Code was instituted, imposing strict guidelines on treating sex, crime, religion, and violence in films in the United States. That was in place until uh, 1968, and then it got replaced by the MPAA rating system. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then hitting number one in the charts this day in 1984.